Attorney General Faris al Rawi is chastising the opposition for what he says are misleading statements on the Financial Action Task Force legislation. He singled out opposition Senator Saddam Hussein as making false claims by referencing a case in which the legislation will not apply once it becomes law. Charlene Lewis reports. Attorney General Faris al Rawi has knocked UNC Senator Saddam Hussein for being irresponsible and making false reference to the fat of legislation in a press conference hosted by the opposition on Wednesday. That is a gross, irresponsible misrepresentation of the law. And for him, as the only sitting lawyer in that press conference yesterday, to make that submission is an indictment not only on the UNC's legal prowess, but on the leader of the opposition to have chosen that young man to make that ridiculous submission in law. The AG delved a bit into the legislation, which he said was wrongly referenced by Senator Hussein. Law must be read as a whole. The top part of the law specifically limits the application of this law only to fraud and financial investigation, and specifically the law points to the proceeds of crime up and anti-terrorism act. For Senator Saddam Hussein to hold himself up as a serious lawyer in this country, to say that the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service can, on a cuss case, get your tax-paying information, warrants a return of his LLB. He's also questioning why the opposition is rejecting the legislation. He said there is no reason for it to be returned to a joint select committee. Negotiating room to demonstrate Trinidad and Tobago's good faith at the Global Forum. But please bear in mind that at the FATF and CFATF, we also have an immediate obligation to amend the Income Tax Amendment Act. Once passed, the FATF legislation is supposed to strengthen the FIU, which is the Financial Intelligence Unit. Charlene Lewis, TTT News.